what's up guys, welcome to another Informed Player Review with me, Boy FIFA 1 HD. We are going to be looking at the 87 rated Alejandro Gomez third in form. But before we do, it would mean a great deal to me if you enjoy the video. Please smash the hell out of that like button, hit the subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you have any questions at all about Gomez, about FIFA 17, the teams that I use, anything you want, Ask me in the comments below and I'll answer each and every one of you. So, jumping right into his stats, and as you can see, they are very impressive. You know, his attack positioning is ridiculous, his acceleration, agility, balance, even his jumping is very, very good. Stamina to die for there at 99, very, very good set of stats. And they continue. Ball control is incredible. Crossing, curve, dribbling, I mean, I'm just listing all of them because that's where he's really good I mean his heading isn't fantastic but other than that he is just one phenomenal card really really is short passing also very very good shot power pretty decent and volleys very very neat and tidy we move on we see four star weak foot which I love four star skills as well and high medium work rates and we finish off with a hell of a lot of specialities and traits including speedster Dribbler, distant shooter, crosser, acrobat, long shot taker, and takes finesse free kicks. So let's jump into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on the 87 rated Alejandro Gomez card were that he was absolutely mind blowing. I mean, his first in form was incredible. Everyone loved it. It was super cheap and super effective. His second in form was also really, really good. Everyone loved it. There is going to be no exception with this card, I can assure you, because it just improves upon what was already perfection. His pace is electric. It's always been good, even from his standard card. He is lightning quick. What I love about this card is that he's got incredible stamina, so he keeps going. He's always rapid, and he's always got enough energy to keep running well into extra time, and he'll be one of the only few players able to do that, which means it will be even easier to create chances because everyone else will be dead and he will be blistering past people, still with loads of energy, getting himself through on goal and then he'll be tucking the ball away because his finishing is really good. Granted, it's not the best. There will be other cards rated 87, be it normal gold cards or informed cards that will have better finishing than this card does. But what's brilliant about him is that his finishing is decent and then his attack positioning, his pace and his dribbling all combine to mean that he's super easy to create chances. So even if he does miss, you, you, know, you know you're gonna get another chance five minutes down the line because he's super easy to create chances for. He's got really good attack positioning, like I said, so he's always making really nice runs. He's got brilliant dribbling, so he can create the chances for himself. Lightning quick. I mean, there's not too much that you could really improve in those areas. Like I said, his finishing maybe could be a little bit higher. But overall, when you add it into everything, he results in goals and goals and goals. So his goals to game ratio is just going to be ridiculous, I promise you. What's interesting on the card is his passing. 89 passing is insane. And he's got really good vision, really good short passing that makes you think, well, actually, if I've already got a good striker, maybe I've got one of the informer Cardi cards, Muriel, there's tons of options in that league, you know, Dybala, etc. I could go on for ages. Maybe I should play him at Cam. That's another good option, and it's a possibility. And that's what I love even more about this card is how versatile it is. You could play this at striker, centre forward, Cam, even centre mid if you wanted to. <laughs> it's just, just going to perform amazingly well. So it's well worth investing in. What I would say is if you are on a budget, the first in form is going for about 20k, and that is fantastic. You know, it's a very good card. So if you don't want to spend the sort of coins this is going for, that is always an option, because that one will do just as well. It's a good card, it's maybe not quite as refined as this 87 version, but it's good, it will do the job. Overall, if you've got the coins to go out and splash the cash, this is the one to go for, because he is so brilliant. 
That's why I've had to give him 9 out of 10, because he delivers so much, and he is so fun to use. That is definitely the word that comes to mind when I use this card, and that's exactly why he is worth every penny. Yes, certain stats, certain areas could be a touch better, but overall, he is brilliant, and I highly recommend using him. That's why I've given him 9 out of 10. I hope you enjoy the review, guys. If you do, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and peace!